Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love in General Reading. This is for the element of Earth. So if you're Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of September 20th through the 22nd, 2024. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully get some clarity. Also, if you're wanting to book a personal reading, be sure to email me first. If you're looking for your individual sign readings, those have moved to Patreon. All right, so we have the overall energy as the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the Six of Wands, Judgment, Page of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so I feel like the overall energy is about you um, collecting or going after some new financial opportunity um, or you reaching for something that is more realistic or tangible. Um, it seems like you're also kind of focused on grounding yourself as well. And if there is some sort of opportunity that presents itself to you, like career-wise, um, it seems like it's been presented to you before, uh, but I don't know, it seems like you didn't respond or say anything or take, uh, take advantage of the opportunity. It seems like it's coming back around, but at the same time, I don't see you jumping on it. Something is just kind of like waiting for you. Something is just like there. It's like the opportunity is here. Whenever you're ready, just grab it. Mm. Seems like you're also dealing with any type of past situation that you've been trying to avoid or suppress. Your own... Um, um, your own thinking pattern may be disabling you. Um, so I kind of feel that you're needing to snap out of that. And you also might keep waiting for somebody to help you and maybe you just need to help yourself. So I feel like, you know, get out of some sort of mode of thinking that you've been stuck in. Mm. Kind of feels too like someone's going to reach out and call you. Um, maybe somebody's wanting uh, to talk about something or catch up with you. It, it seems more business or financial related. Mm. Also, before you accept a job offer, I kind of feel like you're doing some sort of calculations first. You're like, let me make sure that, you know, this... Uh, this salary is going to be able to afford me to do this, that, and the other, and blah, blah, blah. And you're just kind of like wanting to make sure that you want to go ahead and take this opportunity. Uh, in a love situation, seems like you might hear from an air sign uh, or maybe a Scorpio. Or maybe somebody reminds you of an air sign or Scorp Scorpio. Even if somebody approaches you, it seems like you're um, you're wanting to process it first. So you need to see things from all sides before you decide whether or not you're going to jump into a relationship with this person. You might be trying to figure out if this person is going to offer you like or what can they do for me? Like what can this person do for me? So you might be looking at things from a business perspective. I do feel that someone is your soulmate. I feel like you are going to decide to, you know, take somebody up on their offer. It's like, okay, why not? I'm attracted to them. Um, so I feel like you're going to go ahead and say yes to a date or whatever. Hmm. Past, the past seems to be like a theory for you, uh, not a theory, um, 
a theme for you this weekend. So, I don't know. Maybe you're catching up with people from the past. Um, if you're just like at home chilling, maybe you're <laughs> catching up on past shows. Um, but yeah, I kind of feel like you're dealing with the past. You're having an opportunity to address past issues that you didn't get a chance to address before. Mm, I feel like you're also looking at your calendar. It's something that you're maybe needing to pencil in. Um, or you're setting like these reminders. I don't know if you've been having issues with memory, but uh, or if you just have like a lot of things that you need to take care of. So you need to just like set reminders for yourself. Um, if there's anything going on with health, I don't know, it just seems like you're trying to figure some things out. It seems like your health is, you know, kind of solid, but it's still things that you're looking more into. Trying to see what else can you do. You might start eliminating certain things from your diet or lifestyle. Mm. Yeah. Somebody might be sharing a secret with you. Especially if it's something in regards how they was always attracted to you. Mm. I feel like something is calling you. I feel like there's a need for you to go after your calling. Um, I don't know. Something is going to give you a sense of purpose. Maybe you thought you would never get have a chance to pursue your calling, but it seems like there's an opportunity that pops up that allows you to pursue this. And you're like, I'm going after it. I kind of feel like you also ask for a sign, but then you have a hard time accepting that something is a sign or confirmation for you. Mm. Seems like you're also doing some kind of healing. Okay, I'm kind of feeling too like maybe there's going to be a visitor from family or a visitor to your home. If this is a dream, I feel like maybe you're dreaming about someone uh, that is an air sign that you know from your past. And maybe that's letting you know that this person is thinking about you. Mm. I feel like someone is also helping you put things into perspective. There could be communication issues between you and, you know, others or someone that you're dealing with. I just kind of feel like maybe someone needs to be more forward with what they're thinking or how they feel.
and there's something that you might start to get really emotional about. I really kind of feel like you guys are trying to be um, responsible um, in something that's going on in your life. You're like, let me go ahead and uh, be a responsible adult and, and fill out this paperwork and send it back. Um, that's another thing. Uh, I don't know if someone's been waiting for um, information from you before you get approved for something or it's like technically you're approved but you just need to send back some sort of information I feel like you're needing to go ahead and take care of that instead of procrastinating like they're waiting for you to respond um, to that you know their request um, Now, from the perspective of someone else, there could be someone out there that's really thinking about you a lot and they feel really emotional about it when they think about you. Um, maybe this person misses you um, or they just they just can't stop thinking about you. They've been dreaming about you. You might feel this person in your energy. So there's a strong possibility that there's someone who wants to come forward, uh, but they haven't done so yet. They need to overcome their own fears of rejection or whatever it is that they're thinking about could happen before they come into your life. Um, so they're working on their confidence. And a person doesn't necessarily come off as an insecure or shy person. But maybe you bring that out of them and maybe they even question that. It's like, why does this person make me feel um, so shy or insecure? Or like, I don't know what I'm talking about. Or, you know, it's just somebody who maybe brings out those insecurities. Or you bring those out in somebody. I feel like you're also trying to figure out what some dream meant about your father. You're like, why did I dream that my father was doing X, Y, Z? Something maybe just has you reminiscing, um, just reminiscing about the past or somebody, maybe a, an old flame, but it, it seems like something has you reminiscing. Um, somebody's also wondering if you're single. So I'm also getting a situation where your chance to be independent is being presented to you, but you're not jumping at the offer. So let's say for instance, you have been living uh, with someone, um, trying to save up money. And then an opportunity comes where it's just like, hey, you know, you've uh, been approved for this apartment or whatever. And it took so long to the point where now you're like, well, I don't know. Maybe I'm kind of comfortable living with these people or having a roommate. Um, and so you're hesitant to that. But I feel like there's an opportunity for you to return back to being independent. Um, but you're questioning, are you really ready for it? So basically, I just kind of feel like you got a little too comfortable in your, in your current situation. Will you take this opportunity? Probably, but it, it, it does seem like you're hesitant about it.
I kind of feel that you're also letting go or releasing something or someone and starting new. I'm getting living situation again, so it could be that there is something new happening with your living situation. Um, but it also seems bittersweet. Something seems exciting and bittersweet at the same time. Mm. In regards to any type of relationships or sexual encounters, I kind of feel like after you go through with it with somebody, you start to have doubts um, or start to feel like, why did I do that? Especially if nothing uh, materializes after a sexual encounter and then you're back to feeling lonely again. There could be an opportunity for you to move on from poverty as well. If you've been uh, having some sort of financial issues, um, it could be coming to an end. I still feel like there's something bittersweet about it. Maybe your opportunity is far away from you and you, you didn't wanna move away um, but you have to go where the opportunity is. But yeah, sexually, I kind of feel like something happens where, you know, you feel like you wasted your time or like you should have just saved yourself. All right, well, I hope that helps. Um, oh, let me do your energy reading. All right, additional messages for Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right, you have third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. You have all tied up. You've got Goddess of the Moon. Overall energy deceit. Hmm. Okay, either you have been deceptive about your finances um, or someone around you has been deceptive Maybe like telling you they didn't have the money to give you, but they did. Um, it also seems that you have an opportunity to create something, but it still seems based off of deception. Mm, it could be too that you don't really want to do something, but you, you're you like, I can't think of any other way out. And so, I don't know, maybe you come up with some kind of way to get money. Mm. I kind of feel like somebody is pretending or something that's kind of like a setup. Just be careful. Um, I do feel like you need to listen to your instincts. Another way I see this is you kind of suffering from anxiety for whatever reason. Mm. Hmm. If something is too good to be true, it probably is in this situation.
I'm also getting something in regards to like soulmate energy, like the sun and the moon, yin and yang. Um, maybe someone there's someone who is able to bring out um, sides of yourself that you didn't know existed and you do the same for them. But it still seems like you guys aren't fully coming together. Hmm. Now, if there's something that you've been studying or researching, you might come to find out that something was based off of a lie, especially in regards to astrology. Something about the luminaries. I don't know. I just kind of feel like there's something you're uh, realizing was based off of a lie, based to control. Somebody also could, could have been lying to you to control you or vice versa. Mm. Be careful on what you spend your money on because whatever promise is being made, it, it might not be the... Sorry, it might not be the product that you thought it was. Um, or maybe something was just, it, it just seems like it's based off of a lie. Something is like binding you. Hmm. You might find yourself feeling a little emotional at times as well. And it seems like there is something that you really want to do and maybe something is restoring your faith or your will but at the same time you feel trapped like you can't like you're ready to pursue something but now you can't i still kind of feel like certain things are just in your head and it's a matter of you just changing your perspective so yeah all right so hopefully these messages help uh, feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Send you love and grace.